This video from Max Preps shows the volleyball matchup between Hiwassi Dam versus Highlands High. Cherokee County School Board member Arnold Matthews says the forceful hit of a spiked ball left one Hawassi volleyball player with neck and head injuries. Matthews says the Cherokee County Board of Education stepped in and voted to cancel the games of all the county high schools, Murphy, Andrews, and Hawassi, against Highlands because of, quote, safety concerns. The board never specified what those concerns were. We came here to the Cherokee County School Board for a scheduled interview with the superintendent, but someone walked out and handed us this statement. Later, the superintendent came back out and told us this. Primary in our concern is just the health of the student who is injured and the uh, emotional uh, responses of the teams who are not getting to play and, and all the teams, uh, in, including Highlands. She wouldn't give us more details. In Cherokee County, residents have strong opinions about the cancellation. Canceling all the events for one for one incident that it's, just not, right. it's not right. There's risks in there's risks in getting out of bed in the morning. There's risks in going, you know, crossing the street, going to the store. I'm sure the teammate that did get hurt wants him to go out there and fight for it, right? Exactly. That's what we do. A9 influenza is spreading throughout Chattanooga, and now some grooming and boarding facilities are requiring dogs to get the vaccine before they can come in. It's hitting so hard. Um, it's very contagious. Heather Frost is the owner of Barkmore Pet Hotel and Daycare in East Brainerd. She is now requiring all her canine customers to get fully vaccinated against the canine influenza. If your dog is not vaccinated with the two-shot series, they are at risk of getting it. Medical director of Riverview Animal Hospital, Marissa Shulman, says canine flu is rapidly spreading here. This canine respiratory disease is a complex of different viruses and different bacteria that all play in together, again, including canine influenza. Dr. Shulman says symptoms of canine influenza can be a persistent cough, runny nose, fever, and fatigue. She says the disease is easy to spread and to avoid. We're seeing it in dogs that typically are exposed to other dogs in close quarters. So dog parks, doggy daycares, boarding facilities. Now with the uptick, Dr. Shulman says the flu vaccine is on back order. So in the meantime, she recommends you call your vet to see the availability or keep your dog at home and maybe not board them, maybe not go to doggy daycare or go to the dog park. It's probably not a bad idea just to limit that exposure. Earlier today, I went through each of these court documents. I went one by one through 160 incidents, all which were either dismissed or nulled. So tonight we ask, how does this keep happening? In the past four years, police arrested Thomas Harrell almost 200 times. This for crimes like trespassing, theft and burglary. So here are the felonies and here are the misdemeanors. Nashville District Attorney Glenn Funk says health leaders evaluate people like Harold. Then if they are deemed incompetent, they send a letter to the court to dismiss a case. Uh, if they are incompetent and cannot understand the functions of a judge and a defense attorney and a prosecutor, if they cannot assist in their own defense, then the court has to dismiss a case. Racking up 98 arrests in 2019 alone. With his latest arrest just a few days ago, where Harold is accused of not paying for his $358 meal at the Palm. This is a high-end restaurant downtown. Dismissed. 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 Funk says there are more than 200 people in Nashville like Harold who are deemed incompetent. If they have a home, they go back to their home, but if they are homeless, they get sent right back out to the streets. Funk says he's working with Sheriff Darren Hall and judges to address issues regarding incompetency by creating systems and resources to those who commit less serious crimes. 